eight years ago on this date, September 11th, 2001, a terrible event happened in the United States. I'm sure each of you remembers exactly where you were and what you were doing when you heard about it. I was in Salt Lake City. I had spoken at a uh, financial planning conference the day before. I got up early, packed my suitcase on this day, and headed down in the elevator to go to the airport to return home. And a la another lady was on the elevator, and she looked at me and she said, where are you going? I said, Denver. She said, well, how are you getting there? That's fine. <gasps> well, haven't you heard? All of America's under attack. They're bombing all of our cities. All of the planes are grounded. <laughs> and we got to the first floor, and she ran off the elevator. I got off, and I looked at the opposite wall, and I said, huh? <laughs> what did she say? Huh? I turned around, got back on the elevator, went back up to my room, and turned on the TV and sat mesmerized. After a bit, I went over to the exhibit hall where vendors were exhibiting. And I saw one man who looked like a zombie. He had just watched on TV the North Tower collapsed and his whole company and all of his friends were gone. I was scheduled to speak to a Morgan Stanley conference in about six weeks later. And I was trying to get a hold of my contact from Morgan Stanley and they had floors 44 through 74 in the, in the South Tower. And I tried and tried to get a hold of Phyllis and finally I got her on the phone. I said, Phyllis, what happened? Tell me what happened with you. She says, Carolyn, I was late coming to work that day. I came up out of the subway, and there were bodies falling to the ground in front of me. Wow. She said, we only lost six of our 2,700 people. I said, how is that possible? She said, well, remember a couple years ago when the World Trade Center was bombed? We put in place procedures to get out of the building. And we were headed for the stairs. When the message came over the intercom, everything's okay, don't worry, our tower is safe, go back to your stations. <laughs> we kept going down the stairs. We only lost six of our 2,700 people. Well, <clears throat> this is supposed to be an inspirational speech, and huh. you're wondering, what's inspirational about this? I'll tell you what's inspirational about this. What's inspirational is what happened afterwards. We became more united. We started flying our flags. We hugged our kids more. We prayed more. We saw bravery. And we became more brave. And I'm proud to be an American. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. Still today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land.